So before starting off this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire three series. We need experienced candidates. How many times has this sentence shattered your dream to work in a good company or a job description which requires experience? You won't ever have to listen to the sentence ever again. If you use a platform like Relable by Unacademy, it conducts a test which is completely based on skills and you need to perform in your chosen field. Relable has around 1000 plus job openings by 50 plus top Indian companies and unicorn startups. What you need to do is you just need to register for this test, apply on the test and after that your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired. And the best thing about this is the Relable tests are free and you can check out all the links in the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem vertical order traversal in a given binary tree. So you must be understanding what is the problem by the name vertical order, right? So if I try to uh, draw vertical lines in this particular binary tree, this will be the first vertical line that will be drawn. So I can say uh, in the first vertical order, we have four, right? Right after that, we will be having a line which will have two and five. So the next vertical line should have two and five. Now, if I draw the next line, if I draw the next line, I can say one is at first and ideally nine and 10 are actually overlapping. Like I've written them in the same structure, but ideally they're overlapping. So if uh, it is overlapping, just make sure that you write the smaller value at first. After that, the uh, greater value. Okay. And after that, we have the value six. At the next vertical, we have three and at the next vertical, we have again 10. Now, there is something to observe. The first thing was, uh, if nodes are overlapping, just make sure you take the smaller one. If uh, there are same nodes, it doesn't matter. Like there can be similar value nodes uh, in the binary tree. What matters is you have to write the vertical order from left to right. And while you write a single verticals order, just write it from top to bottom, right? Write it from top to bottom whenever you write it for a single vertical. So you basically need to return a vector of vector or a list of list. Like this is this is what the first list contains, the second vector contains, the third list contains, the fourth vector, the fifth vector. So the number of verticals, like you have to return a vector of vector or a list of list, which describes the vertical order traversal of a binary tree. So in order to solve this problem, can we actually uh, consider this as one of the verticals? This as another vertical, this as another vertical, this as another vertical, this as another vertical. You'll be like, yes, Trevor, we definitely can consider them. Now, can I solve this problem uh, using a couple of things? One is we consider this, like these linings as points on the X axis. Like what I'm saying is this is the zeroth line. This is the minus one line this is the minus two line. This is the minus one, sorry, plus one line. This is the plus two line. Like I can have for all verticals, I can say these are the values of X perfect, right? Now, what if I, I consider uh, these guys as levels? What if I say this guy is at the zeroth level? Uh, all these guys are at the first level. All these guys are at the second level. All these guys are at the third level. And this guy is at the fourth level. Then, then I can say this is at a vertical zero, level zero. This is at a vertical minus one, level one. This is at a vertical one, level one. This is at a vertical minus two and level two. Similarly, these both of these guys are at vertical zero, level two. This guy is at level uh, vertical one, level two. This guy is at vertical minus one, level three. And this guy is at vertical zero, level four. Like I can definitely write this. So if I can write this, don't you think it becomes very simple? What if I can have verticals? So I can say I'll have a minus two vertical, minus one vertical, zero vertical, one vertical and a two vertical, correct? Now in this minus two vertical, can I say the first element that I have is 4? So minus 2 vertical is done. Next, I'll go to minus 1 vertical and I'll take it level wise. So the first level, guys, 2. Perfect. The next level I have on this vertical is the guy at the level 3, that's 5. So I can say the vertical minus 1 is also done. Now, when I come to vertical 0, vertical 0, 
has level 0 that's 1 has level 2 that has 9 and 10 again I can use some data structure so that this is maintained in a sorted order next I can say I have a 6 so the vertical 0 is done so in this way can I get every vertical like if I have the x can I just iterate from the ascending orders of x and can I get the verticals so basically I iterate in the ascending order of x correct and for the level I iterate in the ascending order of level for, ev for every vertical I just need to iterate on the levels to get these guys these guys and these guys I think the job will be done so in short the question is very simple I need to traverse for every node and I need to assign the verticals and the levels to every node perfect so you can do that using any traversal so what I'll do is I'll do this using the level order traversal you can try this using in order pre order post order whatever you feel like you can try that so what I'll do is I will initially take a queue data structure okay and in this queue data structure I'll be basically storing the node the vertical and the level okay that is what I will be doing and along with that I'll be carrying a data structure of map which is having integer again uh, for Java people you can carry something like tree map and on this vertical like assuming this guy to be vertical so on every vertical there will be multiple levels so for a level I'll again carry because for every level like as you see over here for level 2 there were multiple nodes so for every level I will be having multiple nodes so since I need if on a level there are multiple nodes I need a, I need them in a sorted order so I can use something like a set but I'll be using a multi set now why will I be using a multi set that's that's a very uh, good question the reason is because if you remember the question clearly stated I can have same values so please make sure you use multi set because if you use set it will only store unique values this might happen this is 9 this also might be 9 like this can also be 9 okay so there can be repeated of values so please make sure you store like this so map of integer this represents the verticals now each verticals I will be representing a level like multiple levels on every vertical on every level there might be multi nodes okay so this is what uh, data structure you'll be using to store all the uh, verticals and levels marked okay and in Java what you can use is something like a tree map of int comma again a tree map of int teacher instead of a multi set you can use something like priority queue in Java okay or you can use a list and then sort it uh, this can be anything this can be a priority queue this can be a list and after that you can sort it that is completely I'll leave that to you okay so initially while starting you have the queue you just make sure node 1 vertical 0 level 0 is inserted into your queue data structure so over here you're currently over here right now what you will do is whenever you start you start iterating by taking this first guy so whenever you take this that's basically node 1 the vertical 0 and the level is 0 so once you've taken this just make sure you uh, enter this into the data structure so you're saying at vertical 0 I have someone with uh, level 0 and at level 0 I have this node 1 okay so that is what you have stored in your data structure now for node 1 just do a level order traversal simply take the left so the left guy is 2 now can I say the guy who is having a 2 if you're moving to the left the vertical will change by minus 1 because you're moving to the left and the level since you're moving left and down the level will be plus 1 so the level will become this so can I say the left node is 2 the vertical will go left that's minus 1 the right uh, the down guy will be the level will increase by plus 1 so left is done what about right can I say in right you have a 3 yes I can say and can I say the vertical will increase by plus 1 if you move right it makes sense if you move right the vertical will increase by plus one and the level will also increase by plus one so make sure you enter that into the queue data structure once you have done this just make sure this is done and again go to the next iteration so in the next iteration get the next element of the queue okay so what do you have is node 2 the vertical is minus one and uh, you have a uh, level as one so minus one will take a level one and a level one you have a node Two. perfect 
So just have this stored into your data structure. Right after that, node 2 has a left, node 2 has a right, correct? So if a node 2 has a left, it will be 4. So you'll take 4 and can I say the vertical will change by minus 1? The vertical becomes minus 2 and after that can I say uh, the level will also change by plus 1. So the level will become 2. So you got, uh, after 2 you got 4, right? On the right can I say the vertical will change by plus 1 because you're moving right. So the right node is 10. So you can insert that. The next node that will be inserted into your Q data structure will be 10, comma, minus 1 plus 1 will be 0 and 1 plus 1 the level will be 2. So can I say 10 is at a level 0, sorry at a vertical 0 and a level 2. So can I say the node 2 is done? I can indeed say, hence I'll move to the next node. So now when you come to the next traversal, what you'll do is, you'll take 3 comma 1 comma 1. So the node is 3, the vertical is 1, the level is 1. So at vertical 1, on that level 1, you will take the node 3. So in this way, you can easily do it. Now can you say on 3 is left, you have someone as 9. So that will be 9 and the vertical will change by minus 1. So it will become 0 and the level will change by plus 1. That will become 2. So you again get this and on the right, you have a 10. So you can again insert 10. So just after this, after this right 10 comma, the vertical will change by plus 1, 2 because you're going right and the level will change by plus 1. That is what you will easily get from this 3. So this 3 is done. So you can keep on iterating from the queue. The sole idea is if you're moving to the left, the vertical will change by minus 1, the level will change by plus 1 and if you're moving right, the vertical is going to change by plus 1 and the level is by plus 1. So every time you pop it out, just make sure you put it into, uh, into vertical, after that onto its level and after that onto its multi-set or priority queue. Like if you're doing C++, you can use a multi-set and if you're using uh, Java, you can use a priority queue because in Java, priority queue stores the minimal element at the top, right? So that, that is how you can definitely get something as a vertical order traversal. So again, I have I've done using the level order traversal, which uses a queue data structure. You can do this using in order. The sole idea is very simple. Whenever you move left, just vertical order and level. And whenever you move right, the vertical order and level. You can use any traversal to move left and to move right, doesn't matter. So guys, as usual, the C++ code is on the left and the Java code is on the right. So what we have done is we have taken a root right initially and as i said in order to store the vertical orders we have taken a map of integer map of int and multi set over here in java as you can see we have taken a tree map of tree map of priority queue okay and after that we have taken a queue and in queue we were storing something as node comma the vertical and the level right so we have used pairs in c plus plus and in java we have used something as tuple okay Perfect. So initially root comma zero comma zero has been pushed. Now you know that you have to do a level order traversal. So just keep on doing the level order traversal. And what you will do is you'll take the node, right? You'll take the vertical order, you'll take the level. And after that, what you'll do is at first just make sure you insert that into your data structure. So first uh, in vertical X of that in the level Y, just insert this guy because it's a multi set so you insert that right after that if there is a left you take that left and insert it into the queue by vertical minus one and level plus one if there is a right then you insert by vertical plus one and level plus one once this entire level order traversal has been completed just traverse across this map nodes okay now if you're traversing what is this p can I say this P is basically the entire thing inside this? This becomes P dot first. This becomes P dot second. Basically, the map int comma multi set, right? So if I'm saying P dot second, what does that signify? That basically signifies a map of int like levels, its level and multi set on that, right? So P dot second will traverse that, and you have taken an answer, right? So what you're doing is you're taking a column. And in that column, like in that level, right? In that, how many, whatever levels are there? Just make sure at every level you're inserting right at the end, like column dot pushback or column dot insert, whatever you want to do. You're inserting the entire multi set. Like let's assume for a vertical traversal zero, we had level 
zero, we had level one. So first we traveled for zero, got the multi set, inserted into the column. Next level one's multi set we got inserted here. Next level two multi set we got we inserted here. That is what we have done. Once we have got this entire level, like entire vertical uh, order, entire vertical, we will insert that vertical into the answer. Simple as that. Again, you can just do a try run by yourself. If your data structure is strong, you'll get it. So let's explain the Java code. Okay. So in the Java code, what we have done is we have taken a tuple. Okay. Root zero zero. And a similar thing we have done. We have iterated uh, doing a level order traversal. So we have the vertical. We have the level. Okay. And right after that, we have checked if if it exists. If it doesn't exist, we are creating a tree map. Okay, and if the priority queue doesn't exist, we are again creating a priority queue. Very simple. If for a vertical, uh, a tree map doesn't exist, we are creating the tree map. And if for a level, the priority queue doesn't exist, we are creating that priority queue. And right after that, we are getting the getting the vertical, getting the uh, tree map of level, and then on that priority queue, we are inserting node dot file. Okay, vertical, then level, and onto the priority queue, we are inserting that. After that, it's simple. If node dot left doesn't uh, exist sorry it does exist we'll go left and vertical minus one level plus one and on right vertical plus one level plus one so this will make sure it inserts and this while loop will be entire level order traversal once you have done this we'll take list of list integers because for every vertical i need a list that has to be returned so what i'll do is i'll iterate on the map dot value so for every vertical i'll iterate okay because map dot value means for every vertical, first for vertical minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. For every vertical, I will iterate. And over here, I might I'm just adding an empty list for every vertical. Empty list. And on that list, what I'm doing is I'm iterating in the priority queue and I'm taking the values and adding to the end of the list. Okay. So once this while loop is over, I can say this vertical is over. Next again, this one will go, this, this, and at the end I can return the list. Again, just uh, go through the code by yourself once you will understand the code completely and I will uh, give you a task Just make sure you do this question by in order or a pre-order and paste that code and paste the code in the comment section Okay, that is your homework for this do it using in order or post order and paste it in the comment section What's the time complexity guys? The time complexity will uh, definitely be big of n because you're traversing generally and I can say that since you're using a multi set, you can add a login concept over here. And since you're using priority, you can use a login. And the space complexity is you're using every vertical and everything. So that's a big O of N because for every vertical, you're creating a level and you're storing all the nodes. So ultimately, you're storing all the nodes. So I can summarize the space complexity to be big O of N plus big O of N for the Q data structure that you're using. Again, thrice of N is somewhere that is what you're using root and two other variables. But yeah, I can just write it as big of n is the space complexity like if i summarize it and i can say n log n to be the time complexity that i am taking in order to do the vertical order traversal because of the multi-set or the priority queue that you are using so i hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series also if you wish you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.